On this week's episode of Nikon's Birding Adventures TV, we're still in eastern Panama. And on this week's episode, we're going to look for some speciality birds and mammals of the Darien Rainforest. And on this week's show, we find a totally unexpected golden bird, the dusky back jacamar. Let's go birding. The Canopy family has two award-winning birding lodges, the fantastically unique Canopy Tower in Soberinia National Park and the comfortable Canopy Lodge in the hills of El Valle de Anton. Both offer world-class unique birding and natural history experiences, led by friendly, knowledgeable, bilingual guides. The Canopy family's newest eco-lodge, the Canopy Camp, is our base for this week's episode. Canopy Camp features comfortable African safari style tents in the heart of the Darien, Panama's most biologically diverse region and home to many endemic bird species, harpy eagles, primates and jaguars. One of the spectacles of rainforest birding anywhere in the neotropics is getting to an ant swarm. A whole swarm of army ants that drive up all the insects and all the ant birds come in to feed off them. And right here we've got the eastern race of chestnut-backed ant bird calling. We've got a whole lot of ant birds around us here. Spotted ant birds, bi-colored ant bird, and Carlos said he heard an oscillated ant bird too, which is a beautiful, beautiful ant bird. So what have we got here, Carlos? We've seen spotted, yeah. we've seen bicolored, we've seen chestnut backed, and, now and, and oscillated, you think? We've just got to find that. Yeah. That's going to have the beautiful, beautiful blue on the head. It's a magnificent bird, nice chestnut on the back with white markings. You got it? I think so. I think just right behind this tree, there's something just Oh gosh, look at all the army ants. Look at all the army ants. Oh, he's, he's riding the army ants. Wow, this is good. Riding the army ants. Oscillated ant bird. Spectacular ant bird. So that's when you know when you've got a really good army ant swarm, is when you've got oscillated ant bird and you've got bicolored ant bird together. And that's probably a very, very good sign for other birds following this army ant swarm. Wow, this is birding in eastern Panama at its finest. Finding an army ant swarm, these magnificent ant birds around. Whew. This place is birdie. This Birding Adventures episode is powered by Nikon, the world leader in optics since 1917, and sponsored in part by the Canopy family, Panama's leader in birding since 1999. And by Pelagic Polarized Sunglasses. Wow, that's like the running of the bulls with Panamanian cowboys and everything. It's pretty cool. Wow. 
feel like my liver hurts from <laughs> that really bumpy road. But this is Salto Road, right next to the Chukunake River, a very remote part of eastern Panama in the Darien. And this is where we're going to be looking for some speciality birds with Carlos. for grey cheek nunlet. Such a tiny little bird with this beautiful subtle grey colouring on the cheeks. That was great Carlos, we finally got him, huh? Oh. Took us a while. What's next? We've just sighted a whole lot of black oropendulas. Look at the beautiful blue facial skin. It's calling. Oh, this plane. Nice. That's awesome. Look at the cheek of the bird, how this looks like a balloon. Well, he, before he before he make the call, just has a and, then, whoop. and this is a special of the eastern part of Panama. So since we started the canopy camp, this is when we actually have this bird as a life coming into the eastern part. So every time I see it, you know, I just get excited. Really beautiful oropendula. It's one of the most beautiful. You can see it's nearly totally black all over. So this black oropendula, they get the little stream out of the palm frond, and they start just weaving this nest until they make it really perfect. The female had to come and check it out to prove it, to say this is a good one, I will stay, or the female doesn't like it, she had to build another one. And those females are very picky. They are, huh? Like most females, <laughs> right, Carlos? Like your wife, should we it's say? Like, let's not get in trouble. <laughs> We have the red throated caracara, which is an amazing and beautiful bird. The only concern we have is the decline of number. They used to be seen in the areas like Ashoto Road many, many years ago. Now we only see it in this far eastern part of Panama and then a little bit in Nuse Gandhi. What's that call? That kind of high pitched. There, that, that. Yeah, it sounds like a wood creeper. I'm ah. not sure. There's something just flew in here to this tree. Oh wow! Oh my gosh, scythe ball! Yeah, red bill, scythe bill. Red bill, scythe ball. Oh my gosh! I gotta get this. I oh, just—he's moved behind the tree. Well, it's right behind the vegetation. Right? Oh jeez! He's calling right here. He's calling right here. Here he is, climbing up the tree, climbing up the trunk on the right-hand side. On the right-hand side. I've got him, he's, shh, he's behind some twigs. Oh my gosh, look at that huge decurved bill. It's got this massive decurved bill. He's just sitting on the trunk here. He's hidden, but I'm able to get right in on him. This is a super rare bird anywhere in the neotropics. This is something we just didn't expect to find at all, hey Carlos? Yeah, that's really cool. crowned and bird, a very special ant bird right here in eastern Panama, in the Darien. Oh man, it was good, really good bear crowned ant bird. So we really struggled for this, what we believe is a bear crowned ant bird, but it's very different looking because it doesn't have the bear crown at all. Same call, a totally different looking bird. Carlos noticed this the first time he saw this bird here in the Darien. So what have you done about it, Carlos? Two, two years ago, and we haven't found any information about bird crown and bird being loose in the feather on top of the head. Obviously, this is a full grown male. This is a bird that we need to learn and to study more. But I'm very curious about this bird. This is the second time I see this bird. I mean, I seen bird crown in all this area, but in this section here, uh, two years ago, that's when I got the one, this, the same bird. Exact same call. Exact same so bird. is there a chance that it's, it's losing those feathers during breeding that, season that's, or something? That's something that we don't know. So this is a bird that we need to find out. First time I think is the video. I have a really short, short video that I took uh, two years ago and that shows that same thing, but this is a really good bird. This is a good video we've got now. Very excited about this. This is awesome, okay. 
After returning to the US and consulting several well-known neotropical birding experts, we are left none the wiser. Either this bird is an aberrant bear-crowned antbird, an out-of-range immaculate antbird, a hybrid, or possibly even an entirely new species. Either way, it certainly demonstrates that the remote Darien rainforests still hold many secrets that are waiting to be discovered. This Birding from the Edge segment is brought to you by Nikon, manufacturers of the Edge line of optics. Nice cool rainforest stream, all these fish nibbling on me, a little fish massage. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> look, look what they do to my back. Ah! Oh! Can you see them on my back? Yeah, I can see them all over you. This is Birding from the Edge. This Birding Adventures episode is powered by Nikon, the world leader in optics since 1917, and sponsored in part by the Canopy family, Panama's leader in birding since 1999, and by Hobie Mirage Drive Kayaks. Enjoy nature effortlessly. The Darien Rainforest is such a biodiverse place, and people don't only come here for the birds, but also for the plethora of other wildlife. And right from your balcony at Canopy Camp, you can view white-faced capuchin monkeys coming in, the beautiful cute little Jeffroy's tamarins, and you can hear black-mantled howler monkeys calling in the forest around you. Many other mammals of the Darien are nocturnal, but some that can be seen with a bit of luck during the day include two-toed and three-toed sloths, northern tamanduas, woolly opossums and if you are very lucky a silky anteater the smallest anteater in the world a quick night tour will also reveal some amazing owls like spectacled owl mottled owl and also some great monkeys like night monkeys, Panamanian night monkeys, which are these awesome little monkeys that come out at night around the grounds at Canopy Camp. Watch it, guys go by. At night, whilst looking for owls or walking back to your tent at Canopy Camp, you might come across these interesting primates. Night monkeys are the only nocturnal monkeys in the world. Unlike other nocturnal primates like lorises or bush babies, these are true monkeys. Also, in contrast to other monkeys, these little cuties are monogamous, choosing a single mate for life. The Panamanian species is limited to Panama and a tiny sliver of Colombia. During the day, family groups will roost in a tree cavity, only making an appearance to peek out at an intruder or when rudely awoken by an unfamiliar noise. But at night, they leave the roosting chamber and roam their territory in search of fruits and other edible delights. This is the true beauty of the Darien. You never know what you're going to find, even when walking back to your tent at night. This Birding Adventures episode is powered by Nikon, the world leader in optics since 1917, and sponsored in part by the Canopy family, Panama's leader in birding since 1999. We've just left Canopy Camp where we've had a wonderful few days birding. We're now halfway back to Panama. It's your phone. Sorry, Sorry. Hello. It's not going to work. Uh -huh. Wow. Okay. Dosky back jackamar guys. You just find Dosky Dosky back jackamar. What? Eh, don't. Espérate. Donde lo curaron? Donde curaron este pájaro? Wow. Quanto quanto pájaro hay ahí? Quanto quanto vieron? Vieron uno. Pero están cerca o están lejos del del área? Dosky back jackamar. What? I have to pull. I have to stop guys here. I have to stop here. Oh, Let me listen. Uh, eh, okay. Lo vieron? Lo vieron? Con cuánto? Wow. They got pictures. They they're on the bank. Dusky back jackamar. Dusky back jackamar, which is, will be a lifer for me. That, you know, it's a bird I've been looking for since 
ever since the canopy came open. It hasn't happened. been recorded before. I've been recording in this area, only in Cana, but not in this area here. And it's very limited to Panama and Colombia only. Ask him if it's visible from the boat. Se puede ver desde el bote. He said that we can we could even get off the boat and get in the bank there. So they were going to the Indian village on yeah. the boat and they saw it. They were going this morning, the group that left this morning. Nesting. The village. Yes, they're probably nesting, they build they're building a nest in the bank. Wow. Um what, what do you think, James? Hold on. Let me uh, Let's go. Turn around. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Watch out. Jeez. Watch that car behind us. Oh, jeez. Okay, so this is super, super exciting. There's been a report. We're three hours back to Panama City. We're leaving the country pretty much. And we've just heard that there's been a report of dusky backed jacamar, a super, super rare bird for this part of the Darien. Carlos has been birding in Panama all his life, and this will be a lifer for him. He's never seen it. So we're gonna go and get this bird. Really, really exciting stuff. Come, let's go, Carlos. Got here just in time. Hopefully we're gonna have enough light. It's gonna be dark in about half an hour, so we gotta hurry and try and get this jack off. Oh, the joys of twitching. That's why they call it twitching, because you get so twitchy and mad and nervous and crazy. <laughs> this is why we do this show, birding adventures. And you know, here we were, a couple of hours out of Panama City, ready to go and enjoy a nice cocktail or a vodka at the airport. And suddenly I'm back in the Darien, looking for dusky-backed jacamar. Isn't that birding, Carlos? Oh man, this is us, this is us. This is all your fault. So this is the Chukunake River and we've just come to the junction of the Tuquesa River. So we're now gonna make our way up the Tuquesa and try and find these jacamars. Lots of spectacled caimans on the banks, which is a little bit disconcerting considering there's a whole lot of kids swimming in the river just around the corner there. But hey, go figure, this is Panama, this is the Darien. This is where kids ain't afraid of nothing. The water levels are really low at this time of the year. It's the dry season in Panama. So the river is very, very low. The banks are really exposed and we may get stuck a few times here. All right, this is where it gets real low. We have to do some pushing. We're getting close, huh? Getting close. Can you see? So we're going this bank. You can hear the jacamars calling. Oh, there's one in the tree, in the cecropia. I see it, in the cecropia. The lower branch of the cecropia. Low branch, that's it. The low branch of the right-hand cecropia. Right-hand branch on the bottom. Woohoo! Wow! Lifer! It's magic. Let's get on. I'm gonna get to film this thing quickly. Got him. Dusky back Jackamar. What a beautiful bird, oh my gosh, it's a tiny jacamar. Wow, look at the dark back on this bird. What a sighting here. Both of them together, pair of them. The other one just flew in. Wow. This is a bird I wanted to see for a long time. And, I, you know, I, I can say much, but it's, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Birding adventure today. Live. Are they nesting in the bank somewhere? Yes, in this bank. They are nesting in this bank. Wow. This is a really dainty little jacamar. Way smaller than great jacamar. Smaller even than Rufus tailed, it seems. Dusky back jacamar. It's got a beautiful sort of off-white little chin. Kind of a cinnamony color on the belly and this really dark back, hence the name dusky back jacamar. Just took off. There he goes, he's catching an insect. He just caught an insect, I think. He sallied out, caught an insect, and it looks like it's probably a wasp. 
And what these jacamars are so efficient at doing is they'll actually beat the stinger out of the wasp on the twig, beat it, beat it, beat it, and they'll often flip it up in the air, swallow it head first, and that way they don't injure themselves when eating wasps and bees. Just gobbled that insect up so quickly. I haven't got very good light, so I'm going to try and get across the river. See if I can get better look at the bird on the other side of the river. He will do anything to get that good shot of the bird. He just went across the river and the current is very strong just to get the, uh, the jacamar. I mean, I had really good view but he want to get that nice footage for the show. So he do what he have to do to get it for you guys. Excellent. I think it's great. Well done. Oh. Lifer. Lifer, Lifer times two. That's awesome. Good That's job, man. Excellent bird. What a great bird. Whew. What an adventure. This is Birding Adventures. See you next week. When it comes to birding in Panama, the many different options and exceptional guides provided by the Canopy family are unbeatable. Log on to learn more. But like anywhere in Central America, any kind of third world country in the world, when you drive along in a vehicle, you're always going to pick up hitchhikers. Looks like that's what we've done here. Probably too long. Push it. Push it real good. Push it. Push it good.